Howdy folks, back again with me, Black Storval, bringing news of Jurassic Park season 2. So the latest news is feature focus guided tour improvements. Let's see what is it about. Welcome back, park managers. We are very excited to bring you a new Jurassic World Evolution 2 feature focus. Previously, we talked about challenge mode and sandbox mode and what you can expect when you jump into either of these modes. Today, we're switching tracks to, to take a look at the guided tours you can add to your parks. We made several improvements to how you build and manage your tours and we wanted to take some time to highlight them. We've brought back tours from Jurassic World Evolution for the sequel. Your guests can take a ride inside dinosaur enclosures using gyrospheres or hop on on a guided tour as a group. Placing them inside your parks works similarly to what you've already used to form the first game. Tour station can be placed on their own or tour fence, and you can then draw and place tracks for the vehicles to follow. Tours can go and can go through multiple enclosures using gates, but now you can chain different stations together in a single loop. Make sure your dinosaur visibility is top notch across the board. So each part of your tour is, uh, is as exciting as the last. The first new thing about tour in this game is uh, we can connect different stations in a single track or loop. Just imagine this. You have a large, huge enclosure, then you build a gyrospheres or Jurassic Tour station, and then build another one a bit far from for, uh, the first one, or on different side of the enclosure, and you can connect it. So, a uh, first tour can make a stop on a different station. It's just like Jeep Tour in Zoo Tycoon 2 if you ever, ever have played it. Tour tracks can now be built over paths or vice versa. And a path junction will be created when the two cross. You can also place fences over exciting, existing tour tracks automatically creating a new gate for the tour to pass through. This makes it a lot easier for you to make any necessary change to your enclosures on the fly without needing to redo the tour track you've already built. Now we can build tour tracks over paths just like in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and we can place fences over tour tracks and automatically creating a new gate so we don't have building the fences. So this is give the game easier and quicker. Photo points can be built along tour, tour routes which will make pictures of your guests. If you pay attention to your guided tours, you will you'll sometimes see a small flash go off when they pass the photo points, indicating that your guests are getting their photos taken. You won't be able to view these photos in the game, however, but it serves an, as an extra detail you can add to your tours. There will be photo points for tours, so you can place photo points on tow roads where the guests will see dinosaurs gathering so they can get photos of the dinosaurs. You'll need an extra detail, uh, I mean you will see an extra detail such as flash go off when guests are taking photos. 
I was thinking if the doors and photo points were inside the enclosure and place detail will attract the dinosaurs to, to attack or it didn't affect anyway. Just uh, detail. Your tour route can also run through aviaries, giving your guests an up close and personal look at the flying reptiles house inside them. You lay down track like you would in other dinosaur enclosures, and your tour can run through an entire aviary if you like. Tour gates are snapped to aviary walls to create entry and exit points. The system is highly flexible and you can even make several entries and exits. Letting multiple tours go through the same aviary or enclosure at different points. Fantastic, right? Not just on land or enclosures, but aviaries. The guests can get inside to see flying reptiles. We can we can make not just one entries and exit, but several. And letting multiple tours go through the same aviary or enclosure at different points. With this new addition to guided tours. You can even have a single tour moving its way to through a single park with multiple stations for your guests to get on or off the tour. You can also split up the the map further and have separate tours for se separate parts of your parks. Maybe create a gyrosphere tour through a huge sauropod enclosure or send a Jurassic tour to several carnivores enclosures to give your guests the thrill of a lifetime. Not just on different stations, but guests can get off or on the tours on different stations too, like bus stop in real life. It's really same on Zoo Tycoon 2 tours. You will need to be careful too, as your Jurassic Tour vehicles can be damaged by roaming or attacking dinosaurs. If they, were, they are completely damaged, that section of the tour will shut down and a ranger team will be required to reboot the tour. Finally, we'd, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the tour guide who can be heard in the guided tours you can add to your park. Jurassic World spares no expense, of course, so the tour guide will be learned figure that provides commentary of what's happening in the tour, from facts about the park's environment to announcing when the tour is entering the territory of specific species. If you've been following our parts management guides, the tour guide will sound very familiar to you. Another detail is we can really hear the tour guide's commentary of what's happening in the tour. So, a lot of new things and details on guided tour, from connecting different stations, tour guides automatically created by placing fences over tracks, tracks over paths and crossing paths, tour inside aviaries, dinosaurs attack tours, and tour guide commentary. I hope you like it and enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment below and take it easy. So, see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.